All right. Let's start the game. Let's get all past this here. And there we go. So, last time we were playing this, they had just entered the jungle and following the map. Wow, what a beautiful forest! Actually, Miss Kendall, the correct terminology is tropical rainforest, also known as jungle. Your father's notes said that we'd find more maps in the jungle. Let's start looking. You may recognize that music. I think they use that music in uh, Rescue from Manitoba Point. Appears that something may have been hidden in that pile of rocks. Pick it up. And this thing is finally getting some more use. Actually, a lot of use. This is pretty much the rest of the game here. It's a pretty simple puzzle. Right now, it gets a little more complex later. There we go. I believe we can now successfully travel through this section of jungle. Okay, let's go. Let's see. You can also move the map around different areas. And if you don't hear me talking too much during this, it's because I'm having a hard time doing a commentary on something this tedious. <laughs> and it's fun for a while, but I think... I believe we can now successfully travel through this section of jungle. Okay, let's go! There's like 10 or 15 of these, I think. So something like that. You can use the mirror too on this, but it's basically the same thing as a flip. I believe we can now successfully travel through. And yes, they say that every time. I don't recognize this. Perhaps we should solve the puzzle for this part of the jungle before we proceed. Yep, you're right. Let's go back and keep looking. Here's some more. No, the map isn't complete, although it looks like it is. I believe we can now successfully travel through this section of jungle. Okay, let's go. And for those of you watching, if you want to talk in the live chat, I don't recognize this. If you want to comment on the game or something else, feel free to do that. I'm giving something to do while I'm doing this. One nice thing about this, you get to hear the music from uh, let's see back here. You get to hear the music from the episodes that you don't hear that much because there's so many voices over top of it.
I believe we can now successfully travel through this section of jungle. Okay, let's go. You know, they could have brought a machete and just broke through right there. But hey, that'd be too easy. Whoop. Well, there we go. I don't recognize. Man, they must have all drunk five hour energies. A Red Bull or something. And the music in this, I believe, comes from the Twilight Zone episode. I think it's the time of our lives. I believe we can now successfully. Okay. Let's see. Okay, now the puzzle's getting a little more challenging. Which is good. It takes a little bit longer, but after a while, the same exact thing over and over gets a little bit tiresome. I believe we can now. Okay, things to be a dead end. Yep. It's amazing the papers lasted all this time in the jungle. Then again, it's Odyssey time, so, you know, what is it, 30 years? Probably like only five years our time. Let's see. Get back over this way. I was just thinking if they wanted to uh, make an Odyssey episode into a computer game, I think the Cross of Cortez would be a pretty good one. This one is kind of similar to the Cross of Cortez. I believe we can now successfully travel for only a little bit. I'm so glad they have this overhead map. Otherwise, it'd be really even more difficult. I believe we can now successfully travel through this section of jungle. Oh. And it's going around in circles there. Mm -hmm. 
I love this music. Have I mentioned that before? I think I have. Let's throw on this end here. I believe we can now successfully travel through this section of jungle. Okay, let's go. Okay, that's gonna be a dead end. Yep. And this right here, there are actually some pieces of the map that you cannot get to and you actually don't even need. It's kind of weird. But I mean, it's just there to throw you off the track. here already. Yeah, we did. Well, looks like we're about halfway through it right now. I think we need to... Well... I think they need to go in the right spot. There we go. Let's see. I think we've gotten all these already. Let's double check. Yep. Ooh, so it's on the other side there, so that means. We go up here. There we go. I believe we can now sit. Sorry, just checking to make sure we're still connected. So you got that piece right here. Keep looking, you need to go back down here. There we go.
I believe we can now successfully. Almost there. Okay, now it's really getting complex. There we go. I believe we can now successfully try. Okay, more dead end. Let's see. Man, either the cards have a lot of information in them, or the MLP is a real genius device. It's more like something Mr. Whitaker would uh, invent. I believe we can now successfully travel through this section of jungle. Well, right there is where we need to be. Can't just get, just can't get there yet. Okay. There we go. Whoop. Wrong way, guys. I believe we can now successfully travel through this section of jungle. Okay, let's go. Two more to go, guys. 
And yes, those two we can't get. I believe we can now successfully travel All through. Alright, last one, guys. Now he's gonna get all the way down there now. There it is. Almost there. Woohoo! I believe we can now successfully travel through this section of jungle. Okay, let's go. There it is, guys. Now we find out who's responsible for all of this. Alrighty. Anyone want to guess who the bad guy is? Unlike the last game, it doesn't matter who you accuse. It'll turn out to be the same per same person and the same reaction. 
So... I already know who it is, but I'm just gonna choose um, Andrea. The proverbial jig is up, you calculating kidnapper. <gasps> what? What's going on? You're tied it's up. It's him. Eugene, help! Carlton forced us here, and he's getting away with the treasure. He's headed for the ruin. Connie, get them untied. Eugene, come with me. Wait! Watch out for the trap. Little too late. We're stuck. Carlton is getting away. Look, the center of the room. What is that? Mr. Whitaker, look. This maze. It has four doors in it, just like this building. This may be our only way out. Look at all these prisms. Ah, my guess is that we should use those to refract the light from that beam to shine on the four doors. I agree. Let's try it. The prism divides the ray of light. There's one door. This puzzle, the first one's pretty easy. Let's see. And the second door. Only one more. We accomplished our feat, Mr. Whitaker. I remember when I first played this, and I think maybe also the second time I played it, I had to have my dad help me with this one because I could not figure out maybe the third and fourth, third and fourth one, but the more recent times I've played it, I've been able to get it. Yep. Mm, so close. perfectly honest, I got a screenshot of the finished puzzle with me. For these last two, I didn't know how long it would take me to do them again, so got up through that a little bit faster because I was looking at that. I know, I know, cheating, but the previous puzzles were pretty, uh, pretty uh, tedious, so I don't want you guys to be bored with this one. Let's see. 
Right there, it almost sounds like music from The Horse and His Boy, the radio theater drama. what that music is from. Maybe it's Shining Armor? Alright. Let's finish this. Which means, yes, I'm using my cheats. Here we go. Hey, you guys all right in there? You're Francisco Valdez, aren't you? That's right. And don't be afraid of me, please. The rumors are only partially true. You mean the rumors that you kill people who come into this part of the jungle? <laughs> yes. I do scare them, but nothing more. You're Leonard's boy, aren't you? Yes. How did you know? You look just like him. How did you know my father? He found this treasure many years ago, but hmm. he didn't take any of it. Why? Because I asked him not to. Eugene, my ancestors were conquistadors. Do you know who they were? I do. They conquered the Incan people and tried to take their gold from them, but they never found it. That's right. What my people did 500 years ago was wrong. They were greedy and ruthless. But my father taught me that we could make up for it. And his father taught him before that. How? By guarding the treasure and making sure that it remained hidden forever. And we've done that. But those many years ago, no, we don't your even parents even found the treasure. Eugene, I told them that very story. Your father was gracious enough to honor our wishes not to let the location of this treasure become public. I was so grateful. I gave him an artifact. Which he gave to the museum in Lima. Exactly. Then they left, knowing that others would come and not be so gracious. So my parents gave up the treasure, gave up the fame, just so you could keep your secret? They were good people, Eugene. You should be proud. I couldn't be more proud. I just got off the phone with the police. Carlton is going to be spending some time in prison. Although Maybe it's not now my life can get back caught. to normal. I apologize for getting you involved, Miss Hiller. It wasn't you. It was Samantha and Carlton. How do you know Samantha had anything to do with this? She and Carlton were arguing the whole time while we were walking in the jungle. I figured out the whole scheme. Carlton contacted Samantha to get information about the Meltzners. He thought they might even still be alive. Samantha and made him a were, deal. If he would go with her are. on a mission to find the treasure, one of them is. then she would give him information about your parents. So she gave him my address? That's right. He didn't know you even existed, Eugene. Your parents didn't tell anybody they worked with, out of fear for your safety. Archaeology can be pretty dog-eat-dog. -dog. So Carlton tailed you to my house, and when he saw the Incan artifacts, he thought they were real and took one. Then he discovered there was a map inside. That's why we went to South America. But what about Samantha? We met her in Peru. But when we found the treasure, he double-crossed her. That's when you guys found us. So is Samantha in jail too? Oh, they're still investigating, but I imagine the truth will come out. I know it will, thanks to you. I can't believe you guys did what you did. You risked your life for me, and you didn't even really know me. You know what? What? You take after your parents. I don't think there's a better compliment you could give me, Miss Hiller. Thank you. Um, 
Do you have some time to stay? I'd love for you to tell me more about my mother. I'd like to hear more too. You have to admire a woman who was able to raise Eugene. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Why don't we talk about it over some ice cream? Everyone game? Ooh, ice cream sounds like a good idea. Thanks, Whip. In Double Deed. After you, Miss Hiller. Miss Kendall? Sounds wonderful. Join our trio on another exciting adventure, Adventures in Odyssey and the Sword of the Spirit. Yeah, that's the next game. And we're here to the credits. You know, it's it's a really a good game. It's probably the best Odyssey game that's been made. And the story on it and it is really, really well done. And at the time, this was before Eugene even came back to Odyssey. And before the story arc with his uh search for his father. So this was a lot of new stuff and really interesting, but very little of it um, was talked about in the radio drama. Um, they mentioned Carlton and I think one of them, they didn't mention this, so I don't think this is considered Odyssey canon because lots of the happiness isn't mentioned in the radio uh, series, but it's still a really compelling story. The puzzles are really well done. The, the map in the jungle is kind of tedious after a while, and I guess the knot puzzle is kind of like that too. But it's a really, it's a really good game, really well made game, and if you can find it, um, I'd recommend you getting it. I said I'm running this on a Windows 10 computer, and I haven't had any trouble with it. It might vary, um, but this one and the one I did live, the 3D CD-ROM game, that one it worked on a Windows 8 and a Windows 10. So if you get one, you probably got a pretty good chance of it working and. If you're an Odyssey fan and enjoy computer games, I think you'll really enjoy it. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this and joining me on uh, playing Treasure of the Incas. We'll see. I might do the next game, Sword of the Spirit. I do have all the games, but they're a little bit different than this game, so it'd be kind of hard to translate it to a live playing session. Probably get kind of long and kind of tedious, so... We'll see what happens. Okay, well, that's it. And again, thank you so much for watching. And if you weren't able to watch the whole thing, um, don't worry. You can uh, watch the beginning of this once this is, this uh, live stream is done. And make sure to subscribe to the channel um, to find when new videos are going to come out. And also, if you missed the first part of the game, you can find those. And I'll also be uploading a non-commentary, non-live version of this part of the game as well. Um, so you can see that as well. Alright, that's it. We'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching. Man, I gotta have a better ending than that. Um, nope, don't got one. So, goodbye.